How does human trafficking work? Trafficked victims are mostly women and children from poor communities who are uneducated. This makes them vulnerable and easy to prey on. I wonder how poor you have to be to sell your son or daughter. Others are tricked by traffickers who lure them with the promise of work opportunities. The traffickers pay for all their travelling costs, legal documentation and the like. They are then forced into a life of prostitution to pay their ever-growing debt that they apparently owe the traffickers. If the women refuse to work as prostitutes, they are beaten, raped and left without food and water for days on end until they give in. These women and children will work when they are ill, pregnant and even while they are menstruating to try and settle their debt. They do not have the right to refuse a customer. If they are too ill to work, they are fined and fall deeper into debt. If a sex slave does not perform, they are simply beaten, given sex lessons, blackmailed or simply sold again to the highest bidder. Drugs make it easier to cope. They spend the little money they receive to support their habits. 67% of women and children who have been trafficked suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. This is what torture survivors and combat veterans suffer from. The IOM estimates there are 27 million people in slavery across the world. In the history of mankind, there has never been that many slaves. Of those who are trafficked, 80% are women and 50% of them are children. During the 2006 Soccer World Cup in Germany, an estimated 40,000 women were trafficked. Why do these really bad people do it? Well, if a trafficker buys the girl for 60,000 Rand, this is the going rate, and forces the girl to sleep with 15 guys a day, this is also the going rate, for 30 days, the duration of the World Cup, at 450 Rand per customer, they will make 270,000 Rand per trafficked victim. That is 600 clients and 300 working hours. So go see almost none of this money. Women from Mozambique are sold for as little as a thousand rand. In Malawi, a girl can be sold for five thousand kwacha. That's ten rand. From all illegal trades, human slavery is currently the number one grossing earner. For a gun, you need to buy new bullets. Drugs run out. But a person can be sold over and over again. The U.S. State Department considers South Africa a Tier 2 country. That means we have an inability to exhibit efforts to meet the minimum standards for elimination of trafficking. We can't give you statistics on human trafficking in South Africa due to the lack of a definition in the current legal framework in both common law and in statutes. This gives law enforcement officials very little incentive to pursue criminal syndicates get captured by police and then spend a couple of days in jail. They are treated like criminals. They are regarded as illegal aliens and merely deported back to a country where they were often sold by their families. Sometimes they are even prosecuted in their countries of origin. South Africa is not a country that will be able to carry the weight of 100,000 sex slaves trafficked into our borders. Why, you ask? South Africa is a country where 24.3% of the population is unemployed. And in 2005, 48% lived on less than 322 rand a month. Child reps went from 3,600 in 1992 to 15,000 in 1996. In 2000, it was 72,026. Out of the 24,892 rapes reported in 2008, only 1,797 resulted in successful convictions. A girl has a better chance of getting raped in South Africa than she has learning to read. There are 5.12 million people living with HIV in South Africa. That is 18.9% of our population. We have the most murders in any country in the world. It takes about 35,000 rand a year to rehabilitate one woman or child that has been mentally, physically, emotionally and spiritually devastated. After years of rehabilitation, only an estimated 10% ever recover fully. Even if only 40,000 women and children are smuggled into South Africa, it will cost 14 billion rand a year to rehabilitate and care for them. These victims are damaged personalities. Lost souls who need love, treatment, guidance, and care to salvage their precious lives. This person was someone's daughter, 
Sister. Brother. Cousin. First love. Jump rope partner. Confidant. Friend to the end. Men are coming in their drones. We have to let them know that women are not for sale here. Not anywhere. In whose hands are the lives of these people? There are better ways to share the world than being enslaved. I think, yes, I think, that I'm going to do something about it. Help us to prevent this oncoming disaster by joining the fight against human trafficking.